Hey, how's it going? So as I promised you about two weeks ago, I was making these videos with my cell phone to try and help my students and really anybody out there who is wanting to practice and get better at their instrument. Um, but the videos weren't coming out real sharp because, you know, cell phone cameras have their limitations. And I promised you, because I have a account for quality, that I was going to work on making the quality better. So, alas, here we go. Uh, a much better uh, capture quality and output quality. And so to all of my students out there and to all of the followers that I have, the hundreds, uh, that's 200, <laughs> 200 followers that I have, and to really anybody out there in the world who um, is a student or a string player who wants to uh, practice, uh, who wants to get better and play, who's an intermediate or beginning player who wants to get better, I want to help you, I want to be here for you, and so to my students and anybody else out there, the the series of videos that I'm going to put out next are going to be um, scale, so I'm going to record up to three, up to four sharps, we're going to go up to four sharps, and we're going to go up to four flats, and plus C major, so that gives you a total of nine major scales, okay, and every single one of them is going to be uh, played with one uh, with no slurs, then two slurs, then four slurs, and then one arpeggio each time, uh, the first time with no slurs, and then the, the second two times with three slurs each. So fairly basic, you know, but I think if you are a middle schooler, you know, it's it, it puts you on very solid footing for, for being a, a, an intermediate player, okay? I'm going to start with that in two octave formats. Then the plan is that after I complete those nine scales and I upload them, I want to go to three octave scales, at, at least get one for the violins and violas, uh, since I'm an upper string player, I'm a viola pr predominantly, uh, primarily I'm a violist, but I'll record like a major scale three octaves, and then also do the seven arpeggios from the Carl Flesch scale system, okay? And that includes the last two, which are the dominant uh, and the diminished. And I'll do the same thing on the viola, on D major, and at least, you know, we have uh, two three octave variants of the scale, and over time I can add more. And then uh, the plan is, beyond that, is I have Suzuki Book 2 already recorded for viola. I need to um, edit it and upload all of those songs. Then I'm going to move on to Suzuki Book 3. And for violin, I'll do record violin, I'll record viola and upload that. And then from there, give me some comments, please, guys. Help me out. Tell me what you want to see because I'm, I'm new at this. You know, I, I follow a lot of really awesome YouTubers out there like the 3D printing nerd because as you can see, I have my, I have lots of different hobbies. So I follow different YouTubers and I try to get ideas on how to make the videos better. But as far as content goes, I'm going to start going out of my own um, intuition, kind of where I think I need to start building to help kids, to help my own students, you know, and to help anybody out there. So give me some comments in the comment section below, please. And then um, subscribe if you haven't done that already. And uh, I'm excited to do this to help because, you know, we are in the middle of this incredible uh, coronavirus, you know, global pandemic. And I will say that I have a close friend of mine who is uh, about 90, almost 90 years old, and I asked him recently, I said, hey, what's, in your lifetime, how are you processing this? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a 38-year-old guy, and I'm wondering, you know, how is somebody who is, you know, close to their 90s, how are they handling, how are they processing this, this pandemic? How, you know, how are they coping with it, and, and, and how is their experience different than mine? And I was curious about that. So I asked him that question, and he said um, that since since World War II, when he was a young boy, he was eight years old, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, since World War II, he, this is the first time in human, in his lifespan, that travel um, and your choices have been limited. Uh, by the government, you know, you know how we are all uh, practicing social distancing right now, and how all of us, uh, you know, a lot of non-essential businesses have closed, and so many people are out of work, and you know, 
globally, it's it's a crisis. It's both a, a human crisis and an economic crisis. And so, um, and so, yeah, he, he's he's home just like the rest of us. Not social dist. Uh, I mean, social distancing and, and and not going out. But uh, but that's how significant what's happening is um, that he's comparing it to World War II in terms of how it's changed our way of life. You know, how it's changed how we handle our everyday um, uh, living and all of our everyday practices. So, stay safe out there. I am excited to embark on this uh, video YouTube making journey with you now that we have our quality situation under control and um, I'll talk to you guys again on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for watching that video. If there's any questions you have or anything I can help you with, I am only a comment away. So remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.